Welcome to CAD Engineer. In this video, creating reference planes in SOLIDWORKS. Let's understand about reference plane. So reference planes we are used for creating 2D sketches for 3D model. Also we can create section view with the help of that and we can also use a plane while making a drop feature as a neutral plane and also used in assemblies to define the mates. We can define plane by minimum one reference and maximum three reference. So when we define first reference, according to based on our selection, the other type of constraint appears. So we can specify, we can specify second reference and third reference according to need and requirement and according to the available condition on that part body. Let's see all the different type of planes we have. We are going to learn offset distance plane, angle plane, project plane, line and point plane or we can say normal to curve, three point or a vertex plane, tangent plane, mid plane and intersecting plane, nearest location on surface, along sketch normal, coincident plane, parallel and perpendicular plane. So these all type of planes we are going to see now. Let's see on the software. Let's see how to create offset distance plane from planes and faces. Here we are going to see offset distance plane from existing plane. So in solid work we have three planes front plane, top plane and right plane. Initially all these planes are hidden. To show them we will select that planes, right click and click on show symbol. Now to create the plane from this we will go to features and take reference geometry and take plane tool. Now here we are going to select the reference plane from that we are going to create a plane. Let's select front plane. We will specify the distance between the plane how much we required I put it 100 distance if we need only one plane we can do ok here if we need more planes so here we have options to specify the number of planes I said I need total three planes so it create three planes at 100 100 distance now if you want to change the direction of plane also we have one more thing is there it's called off flip offset method we can select this flip offset option and we can see the plane direction has been changed. So if we need this we can do ok. Now we'll see how to make offset distance plane from faces. To create a plane we'll go to features and go to reference geometry take plane option. Here we are going to select the face of the body. Now we'll specify the distance between the face and plane. If you need only one single plane we can do ok. If you need more planes we can specify the number of planes to make. If you want to change the direction we can use flip offset method. So like this we can flip the position of planes and do ok. Let's see how to create angle plane from plane, faces, edges, line and axis. So here we are going to create angle plane from axis and plane. So we already have these three planes now we need one axis. For that we will go to reference geometry and take axis. To create axis we need to select any two planes so we will select right plane and top plane and do ok. Now after creating axis we will go to reference geometry and take a plane option. We need to specify a two references. So first reference will take one axis and second reference I am selecting a plane. So here we can see this is coinciding with the axis and perpendicular to that plane. If you need this condition we can do ok. But I need to change my degree of angle we click here at angle and we can specify the degree of angle. Let me put 45 degrees. Now if you want to change the direction we can click on flip offset. By that we can change the direction of planes. If we need if we need more plane at the same angle we can specify number of counts here and do ok. Now let's create angle plane from face and edge. Again we'll go to feature reference geometry take a plane option. We'll specify one edge and one face. Again we'll got a perpendicular plane. We'll click at at angle and we'll specify the degree of angle. Let me give 30 degree. If I need single plane we'll do ok. If you need to make more multiple planes again we have to specify that we'll go to reference geometry. We can take face and edge also. Then we'll specify at angle. Again we'll put the degree of angle. If you want to change the direction we can make flip offset and also we can specify the number of counts. Let me change the directions. So this is how we can make a multiple planes also. Do ok. Next we will see 
if we create any lines and from that we want to make angle plane let's see how to do that i select this face and create some line on the face and i want to make angle with this line now we'll go to reference geometry take plane option we we'll select this line as a reference and select one face to define the angle now here we'll click at an angle and we can specify the angle value so this is how we can make a plane at an angle let's do okay let's see one more way to make a plane so if we have circular body cases in that cases we can turn on the temporary axis now i'll take a front plane here to create a plane with that so we'll go to reference geometry and take a plane tool now we'll select one reference i'll take one reference as a plane and we'll specify the axis now we'll specify the degree of angle by clicking at angle i'll put 45 degrees and do okay so this is how we have created this plane at an angle so sometime what happen the plane sizes will become very small we can just change it by picking the grips of that let's see how to make coincident plane from plane point and edge let's see how to create a coincident plane to create the coincident plane we'll go to reference geometry take a plane option so here we'll select one face now i need one point so i select this vertex so here we can see initially the plane condition is that this plane is parallel to this face if you want to change the condition from parallel to perpendicular we can click on this option this is how we can change again we'll go to parallel let's do okay let's see one more option we'll go to plane we we'll select this face now this time i'm going to select this edge so again we can see this plane is created perpendicular to this face and coincident with this edge if you again you need only a perpendicular you can keep perpendicular or maybe you want to change this to parallel condition we can click here parallel so this is how we can make a coincident plane with point and edges let's do okay we can make coincident plane by using two edges also so we'll go to reference geometry take plane option we we'll select edge 1 and edge 2 So you can see the plane is coinciding with edge one and edge two. Let's do okay. Let's see how to create a project plane with the help of point and face. We have two option in this nearest location on the surface and along sketch normal. Let's see how to do on software. To create the project plane, we have already created one point here by taking one plane. So we'll use this point and the faces to define the plane. Let's go to reference geometry and take a plane option. Here we'll select this point to coincide, and we'll select this face. With that, I'll make tangent initially. Now we are going to project this plane on this face. So we'll use this option project. So here this plane is initially nearest location on the surface. Now I want the sketch become perpendicular to this surface. So for that, we'll choose a long sketch normal. Now what happened when i choose this option it's saying the current combination of reference and constraints are not valid so what we'll do to make it valid we just take this option flip offset so this is how we have made a plane and do okay let's see how to create a plane with line and point or we can say normal to the curve so we'll go to reference geometry and take plane option we'll select this edge and this point and we can see it's created a perpendicular plane or normal to that edge do okay Let's see one more case. So here we have this plane with the various point. Let's see how to make plane on this. We'll go to reference geometry plane. We'll select this curve and select one point and do okay. So anywhere we required we can go to plane, select the curve, select the point and do okay. Let's see how to create mid plane and intersecting plane. Here we have two planes and we want to make a plane between them. So we'll go to reference geometry take plane option we'll select plane 1 and plane 2 so we can see here we can get a mid plane let's do okay let's see another case so here we are going to create a mid plane with the help of faces we'll go to reference geometry take plane option we'll select face 1 and face 2 and do okay we can also select two adjacent faces plane 1 and plane 2 So we make intersecting plane 
passing through the two faces. Let's do okay. So this is how we can make mid plane and intersecting plane. Let's see how to create a plane with three points or three vertex. So here we can see we have three different points. Let's see how to create a plane. We'll go to reference geometry, take plane option. We'll select reference one, reference two, and reference three. So this is how we have created a plane passing through three different points. Do okay. Now let's see by using vertex method. So we can also create a plane passing through three vertex points. We'll go to reference geometry, plane option. We'll select vertex one, vertex two, and vertex three. And do okay. Let's see how to create tangent planes. To create the tangent plane, let's go to reference geometry, take plane option. Here we'll select phase one and phase two. So here we can see the plane become perfectly tangent. If you want to change the directions, we can use flip offset. So we can see it become diagonal. We can choose second flip offset. The plane will be go to other side completely. Or you can untick this and you can make it diagonal in other side also. Let's do okay. Let's see one more condition. We'll go to reference geometry, take plane option. Again, we'll select one circular face. And second face, I select a planar face. Now we can specify the angle as well. So we'll click at an angle. So I want to keep this as tangent at but at some degree of angle. So we can specify the angle value, for example, 45 degree, or you can change the angle value, whatever we required it. So this is how we have made the tangent plane with the face by using angle method also. Let's do okay. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel and thank you for watching this video.